Good morning! Today is going to be a little different. Well, it might not even be morning for you anymore, and it's actually not really morning for me anyway, but whatever. Good morning. I'm saying it. I want us to do something a little different today. I want to do therapy conversation practice without talking. Now, what can that be? <laughs> Have you ever played a little game called charades? This is gonna be a little bit like charades, but a little more specific. But if you wanted to play charades with your family, it could only help. Because you have to kind of take all the gestures together to come up with the concept that they're trying to do, right? So we're gonna do it today with little functional items. Let's try it. I'm going to do a gesture and I want you to say what that word is. Okay, we'll start kind of easy. What do you think? Let's do it. Tell me what I'm doing. What am I doing? Did you say I'm peeling a banana and then I was eating a banana? Mm-hmm. All right. Now I want you to make a gesture that is peeling a banana. How'd you do? Now I'm going to do a gesture Hmm, what should I do? Oh, what about this one? Very simple. Why don't you do it with me? What are we doing? We're brushing our hair. And if you couldn't think of the word for brush or hair and you literally just went, they go, oh, do you want me to help you brush your hair or do you need your brush? And that's the whole point is helping someone understand exactly what you mean. Let's try another one. Well, how about you make up a gesture and then I'll do it next. So this one is brushing your teeth. Go. Yeah, is that what you came up with? To be fair, I have an electric toothbrush, which I recommend for everybody if your dentist recommends it. And I really just go but I don't know if people would get it as easily, but this one works. So far we've peeled and eaten a banana, brushed our hair, brushed our teeth. What about if you're hungry and you can't think of the word food, eat or anything, you could literally just go. Mm. Mm. Hopefully it's delicious. Eat. Mm. Now I want you to come up with this one first and then I'll do mine. Good job. Literally all it takes. Yeah. Okay. What about mm, this one is kind of, it's a little more advanced. I want you to come up with what you would do for this one. Did you go? <laughs> Probably not the noises. I don't have as much hair. Oh, lost a little bit of hair. I don't have as much hair as you, maybe. That's a good one for blow drying your hair. Now let's see, what else should we do? How about if you want to read a book? Could literally just go, all right, you do it first, then I'll do it. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. Yeah. What if you want to go on the computer to watch YouTube videos of Julie F? How about, oh, you do it, then I'll do it. Sorry, it's hard for me. Mm-hmm. 
just say typing and they go typing and you go yeah typing on the computer mm -hmm. what about if you want your phone what gesture could you do I mean phones don't look like this anymore but most people would understand actually I don't know about the younger generation eh, I don't know Mm hmm so we have eating drinking reading what about you want a pen you do it first or you could even you take something that looks like it and go and someone would understand exactly what you mean what about especially right now if you needed to tell someone that you need your mask. Show me what you would do. Okay, what I would do, I would go, I'd probably use my hands and go, or you could go, you can pantomime what you're doing. <laughs> So we did brushing your hair, brushing your teeth. Oh, what about this one? Also important right now in times of COVID. You do it first, then I'll do it. Mm -hmm. So what'd you do? I would. Kind of look like Lady Macbeth. <laughs> out, out. Damn that spot. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I come up with things sometimes. We're washing our hands, right? It's very simple. Or let's say you want to put on a shirt. Do what you would do. What I would do, I would. Hey. Whoop, excuse me. <laughs> you would pantomime putting on a shirt. And then pants, I can't really show you, but you show me what you would do. Yeah, I don't think you can tell, but I would. Ooh. Ooh. Apparently I kept that very real by having my pants undone <laughs> before I even decided to do it. Um, let's say you want to go to sleep. Show me what you would do. There's a couple different things. We all wouldn't do the same gestures, right? Just like we wouldn't all say the same things. You have to kind of come up with your own. For me, for sleep, I would... But you could also just... Anything that symbolizes you're sleeping, you want to go to sleep. Let's see, what else could we do? How about you want to go outside? Want to go listen to the dogs bark even closer? What would you do? For me, I would just point outside. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, what else do we do on a daily basis? Oh, what about going to the bathroom? Show me what you would do. What I would do would be, I would kind of look down where I go to the bathroom and go, mm. that would be me. Or press my legs together and go, mm. <laughs> and these are things I do do in real life <laughs> because I'm a little dramatic if you couldn't tell. Okay, now the next thing I would do, let's say you wanted your glasses. Show me what you would do, what gesture you would do. I would go. It's simple when you think about it, but it's really not that easy sometimes. That's why there's a whole game called charades. Yeah. And there's a lot more things we could do. What about you want to get your nails done now? Right now, 
we can't do that, but what would you do? Okay, what I would do, I would, or even go, but I would definitely, see how there's so many different gestures that can symbolize you wanna get your nails done. When if it's your toes, you could go and point to your toes, yeah? All right, what else do we do? Oh, how about you? Pull my shirt up. You want your earrings. Show me. Yeah, just pointing to your earlobes. Notice I only have one in, long story. They're very meaningful and I lost one, so I keep one in, it's very sad to me. You could just point to your earrings. What about a necklace? Where would you point? Mm-hmm, could go. Mm -hmm. Or bracelet. Yeah, could go. What about a ring? You want to wear your ring? <sighs> so annoying. Yeah. That's our usual ring fingers, right? I don't know, I don't find it very comfortable to wear rings on my other fingers. Hmm. How about it is bright and you want sunglasses? Yeah, what I would do, I would do, you know, kind of symbolize that it's too bright and then show the glasses. How about you would like a bouquet of flowers because you're a wonderful individual <laughs> who likes to look at pretty flowers. Hmm, show me what you would do. What I would do, I would, hmm, you could even pretend you're styling. This one's a little harder. So you'd probably want to symbolize Smelling a flower, you could even pretend to put one on your lapel or just put it in a vase. Now there are so many other gestures we can do. This is just a short and simple one. I want you to think about this and maybe play charades with your family. When your grandkids come over, hopefully they'll be able to soon. You can play charades with them. And it's, it's a fun game, especially when it works your head a little bit and makes you think a little bit about what you're trying to say. Maybe everyone else could have a little more complicated ones, but you work on just the simple ones, on things that you want to actually say every day. All right, now if my face pops up, which it will, because I will program it that way, right? I want you to press subscribe, and that way you get notifications whenever a new video comes out. I'll see you later. Have fun playing charades.